When reviewing my own research to where it's become logical for both my dissertation and my video, Son? I had a few set goals in mind. How was your day, pal? And the, the reason why I took these actions was because Super. my actual living theory that I'm using Son? helps benefit me more this than any other logical uh, research methods. I wanted to further understand right, why son. John Hughes made teenagers good. massive in the 80s Jeez. and further on. I wanted to see if I was correct in making this statement, was John Hughes successful in changing the perception of teenagers in cinema? Now looking back to my lit review, I went through a few stages of collecting research to further understand standpoint on other people's views on my statement. Now in doing so I found that yes he did indeed change the perception of teenagers and since I didn't find any negatives. Now that's also a problem because there's not enough evidence to show that this is true but there's enough film evidence to show there's no connection in between them. Take for example Richard Linklater. He's made films called Four Series and Boyhood. Now these films never connect to John Hughes, but they have this way that just seems so like him, but there's no one else that has captured the teenagers like him. Now, some of the other limitations would be probably not enough sources of books and so on. I only managed to find four books to really take inspiration from. Now, bear in mind that they are the sort of best books to go by because they had a lot of information about who John Hughes was his uh, characters, his um, sort of mindset by making the films because they're all taken from interviews from the directors he's worked with, the actors he's worked with, like basically people who were very close to him. He improved how teenagers were portrayed on screen. And this is even going into the 90s where I found that a lot of them were breached into that sort of teen comedy style, you know, American Pie and everything like that, that's early 2000s. And that is why I generally feel that he made a massive impact. This dissertation has meant so much to me because it's helped me get a fully understanding of the person I'm, I'm researching, like he's my inspiration. So I found that it was very plausible. I think there, there was enough evidence, not so much enough evidence to show fully um, influence after him, but for the main question at hand, I think there was enough. You know, I think the picture, to its credit, um, people either, they either liked it or they disliked its drama. And um, if, if the picture's doing that, something's going on with it. It isn't just laying there and people saying, well, it was all right, <laughs> you know. I mean, I'd much rather stir controversy than just, you know, fade away. I think that a lot of adults misinterpreted the film. I think they looked at it as an assault, which it was not. Mm -hmm. They misinterpreted uh, why those kids... A lot of people said, well, he's presuming to say that all of children's problems are, are, are a result of, of, of their parents. When organising through my findings for this video, it came to my attention that Hughes wasn't throwing insult at the adults, but he was simply misunderstood at the time as to what he was trying to achieve. It was a matter of concern from the characters for their parents, and that will be shown in the next scene. My God, are we going to be like our parents? Not me. Ever. It's unavoidable just happens. What happens? When you grow up, your heart dies. Who cares? I care. The important component throughout John's films was identifying those teen stereotypes. Characters that you can latch onto 
and sort of feel like they're your own identity throughout your teenage years or even into adulthood. Each one of us is a brain and an athlete and a basket case, a princess and a criminal. That's how I feel John has influenced the audiences through his own way of writing. It's a way of blending the real life to what he sees himself, and that's perfectly what he did throughout his career. And what I was saying is that those kids are concerned about their parents. They wouldn't talk the way they did about their parents if they didn't have some concern for them. If their parents were not important to them, they would they would have they wouldn't have said anything about them. It wouldn't even have come up. But it is an issue to them. And what they, what the picture was saying to adults, what those characters were saying to adults, is please listen to me. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm young, but I have problems. They may not seem particularly important to you, because in the context of, of you know, life and death and survival and all those other, th you know, major issues, my being upset because someone doesn't like me or I can't, uh, I don't have any friends or whatever, looks relatively insignificant to you, but it's really hurting them. The term kids film was used by Jud Nelson during an interview where he was talking about how before Hughes made this massive impact that the term kids film basically meant nothing, like it was worthless. There was no reason to watch about teenagers or kids because adults weren't bothered by that. Probably not, you know, because it takes, it is that, it's that blend of, of director, script and actor. That's what it, you know, every, any good film has that. And, uh, you know, if, if they weren't there, you're right. You know. The main reason why he connected to his actors and also widespread teenage audiences, it was mentally because he was in that frame of mind of a teenager himself, simply due to him not wanting to grow up. He went through his whole career with his ears to the ground. He was looking at music, style, the way to work with children and teenagers in his films. I gathered multiple bits of evidence explaining why he felt like this. It was helpful to read and take in how much he actually influenced a generation through his style of filmmaking. It's all over the place, and I guess I think it's important. John Hughes had the future in mind throughout all of his films. They were capturing a growing population of new stars being made, and he was redefining the coming of age genre. From 16 Candles to She's Having a Baby, it's all connected in a way to show what happens through different stages of our lives and eye-opening situations that we may go through. It's bringing some truth to ring to the cinema. He used music, clothes, slang words to change a whole viewpoint on a generation to come and at the time. Was John Hughes successful in changing the perception of teenagers in cinema? I firmly believe he did. From all the evidence I've gathered, there's not been any negative towards his career. He's defined a whole generation throughout his style and mentality of what made teenagers brilliant during this decade. But his legacy still carries on today. The future was so important for John because it's all about looking forward and taking that inspiration to create impact. Which is why I feel John was the David Bowie of cinema. Not only because he was revolutionary, he was before his time. I firmly believe he created a change in cinema that still luckily stands today. Hey, hey.